Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the previous parts of the covered series. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We shall start with Preparation Tools and continue with Select Tool, Data Cleansing Tool. Please check the caption to jump between the topics. If you are new to the Mind Magics channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials, free webinars, and career enhancing shorts from working professionals. Like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. So hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be covering the most important topic, the preparation tools in Alt. Take the topics one by one. So first of all, what are the preparation tools and where basically they are located in Alt. So this are, these are the preparation tools. As the name suggests, these tools are used to prepare the data. Preparation as in you can perform the filter operation, you can generate the records by yourself, you can change the data type of the feed, you can apply the sorting operations and what not you can do using the preparation. So these tools are the most encountered tools in all trips and you will be using them mostly in the day-to-day -day operations. So let us first import the data and then I will move towards the tools. Let me import the data first. We will go to any sample file that has been provided by Alpix. Let me have a look at the good file. Good file as in which have a lot of signing. So yeah, we will choose the customers file. We will add the browser after operation and we will check what are the contents of this file run. There are 2,678 records in it and there are somewhere around 12 bits. So how I find that we are, uh, how many fields are there? Just click on this, you can find what are the type of fields and what are their data type, what are their size. The reason why I'm telling you this, because to prepare your data, you should have a thorough understanding that what data you are dealing with, what are the anomalies in your data and how you want to talk about each and every anomaly and how you, want, how you can basically remove it. The first tool that we want to cover is select tool. So what select tool does? The select tool basically selects the number of columns. It can uh, deselect the number of columns. It can reorder the columns. It can rename your fields. So renaming is one of the good thing that you should do in your database or to make your data, uh, to make your data easily understandable. You can also change the data type. You can change the size and you can assign the descriptions uh, to your column. So let us go to select tool. Right now it is showing unknown. Let's connect to our data. Okay. Now let me tell you the operation one by one. Okay. First, we can go to options. You can select all, you can deselect all using the select option. You can save the field configuration. You can load the field name from a different file, but that is not uh, rec recommended. You can sort you can sort basis the field name ascending and descending, the field type ascending and descending, and you can move the highlighted field from 
top to bottom i'll show you each and every operation one by one. so let's suppose we want to select all we selected all of them we want to deselect the column we can deselect all of them the most important deselect is because it might happen that we are just having 12 columns right now but we can have 250 columns over here that could very well be the case then you can deselect all and then select the specific column let's suppose i want to have a look at the customer id the store number the customer segment i am interested in the first name and last name i don't uh, i am not interested in the lat long of this and i am not interested in the address of this okay and i will execute the workflow so this is the first operation that we can perform and have a look at it. change it to data have a look at it. we just had the five columns that we have set uh, that we have chosen over here okay so that's the first thing we can select the second operation what we can do using the select field is we can change the data type so customer id let's suppose we want to filter out the odd and even customer the customer id that is having odd number and the customer id that is having the even number so what you can do you can change the data type obviously you will have to change the data type first so let's suppose i made the customer id to be integer 64 and tada we run this you can check the metadata okay you can check the metadata why is it not showing okay yeah by default it shows the metadata of the input only it will not show uh, you over here but the data type has been changed i'll i'll tell you how it is changed when i'll explain you the filter tool. so the second uh, operation is change the data type uh, one more thing i want to tell you guys 90% of the time altix will import the right data type depending upon the inputs in your file but it might happen like in the case of latitude and longitude the latitude and longitude should not be string they should be the straightel object or they should be the fixed decimal because it might happen the 74.2 is flat and the long is 74.8 something like this in the case of string it will not be taken as it is so you can convert over here you can also very well reduce the size of the string so let's suppose the size of the string is 254 right now but we know that uh, the name might be maximum of 50 characters the same for the last thing and what could be the use case of this the use case of this uh, could be to reduce your data size because if we select the size to be any random size then definitely uh, if we are having 10 millions of records it will take it will consume somewhere around 1 gb of space but when you are using the correct size it will reduce your space the next operation that we can perform using the select tool is the renaming operation so we we don't want to uh, encounter our field customer id as customer id we want to rename it to id we want to rename it to segment the customer segment we want to rename it to segment the latitude and longitude we want to rename it to latitude and longitude and we will control r we will see that the fields has been renamed now the next operation that we can perform on using the select tool is the description you can give the column a description see this is not frequently used but it should be it should be used so that you have some sense of your data this is just having the single file right now but ideally this will not have been the case there might be 20 different uh, files and there might be 1000 different columns so it might be confusing for you to understand the column structure and the name so 
customer segment. I gave us this, our description to this column that this is the segment of the customer, not product. Because this could very well be the case that it is other product segment. But here we are not confusing it with that. So that's all about the select tool. Let us move to a different tool now. Okay, uh, one more thing we can perform using the select tool. Uh, we can very well perform the reordering. We can uh, select this and we can move it up, up, up and up. Similarly, this. To reorder the multiple rows, select, right click and drag. You can select, select, select. Control right. Oh, sorry. You can just drag this. I drag this to the top most section. Okay. So why we are using this? I'll I'll frame a scenario for you. So let's suppose there are two hundred columns in your data, and your last name and first name first name and last name come somewhere in between 150. But when you will see your data, you will find very, very difficult to read it and you have to scroll to the 150th column. So this should not be the case. We should encounter our first name at the very top and we should encounter our last name above. So that's all about the select tool and run it. You can see that uh, it's in the order of what we have selected over here. So let us move to the next tool. Uh, the next tool is the data cleansing tool. So the data cleansing tool. So it might be the case that your data is having a lot of lot of junk value. Your data is having a, a specific value that you want to remove. So let us go step by step and encounter what the data cleansing tool will do. Let's read the description first. It will perform the basic data cleansing operations such as replacing the null values, remove the punctuation and modifying the capitalization. So let's have a look at data. You can see that the first name and the last name, they are both in the upper case. We want to convert them into the downward case. What we can do? We can go in the data cleansing tool, modify case. We will make all of these to the lower case. Okay. There are three different type of cases available, upper case, lower case, and the title case. The first operation, I will run this and let's have a look at you can see that everything has been converted to the camel case, the first name and the last name. So this is the first scenario that we can uh, perform using the data cleansing tool. The second thing is, you might have encountered uh, this a lot. See the address. Your address can have many junk characters at the starting and, and at the ending itself. So while you perform a calculation on this, you have to trim those. So you can you can very well directly do this using removing the leading and trailing white space option from here. So we can remove the leading and trailing white space from the address field. So let me just take the address field from here or your search table names and then we will remove the leading and trailing white space from here. The second option is all the white space. So this, this is very seldom used, all the white space you want to remove. The third option is removing all the letters. So it might happen that your phone number, phone number is the field where you have all of the numbers. And so, uh, this might be the case that someone might have by mistake entered a white space, a punctuation, a letter in it. So you have to remove the num on uh, the letters from it. So you can just check this option. The thing is that uh, the next field is replaced with blank string fields. So whenever you encounter the null data, 
it will replace all of the nulls with the blank field. And in the case of the integer field or the numeric fields, what it will do? It will replace with zero. Let's suppose we do not have the latitude and longitude, longitude in our file for some of the IDs. So what it will do? It will just populate zero against them. Okay, and last but not the least, remove the null data and remove the null columns. So it might happen that your data has null columns. All of the values are null in that column. So what it will do, it will remove those null columns, remove the null rows. Your data might have a lot of null rows. This option will remove all of these null rows. So let me just take a file for your reference and we will do all of the operations one by one. By one. So I am creating an Excel file in which what I am doing, I am creating all of the scenarios and we will see that what will be the results here. So guys, let's suppose I created this file. Okay, let's save this file. Uh, let's have a look at data of this file. We are having the name column. We are having the age column, gender column, and the address column. Some of the fields are uh, blank on this. The case is not uh, proper in this. The address having the trailing and leading white spaces. Okay. So we will perform all of the operations and whichever possible by us. Uh, we will save this file. In our data sets. Now we will read this file. Control C and guys, you can uh, just copy paste our tools by using the Control C and Control U option. It works very well over here. I'm going at a little good pace because good sample data and all files. And you will select the plain green option. Plain green file. Okay. Then let's grab the data planes and tool. Run. And add browser. So now let's have a look at it. First, we want to remove the null rows. And second, we want to remove the null col columns. So currently, we don't have any null columns in our data. We will just remove the null rows and run. Have a look at this. What happened? It removed all of the null rows. There were certain null rows in between, if you remember. So remove it removed all of the null rows. The second operation, what we want to perform is See here. Replace nulls. It replaced with zero in the numeric field. So whatever numeric field was there, it will replace the nulls with zero. Let me show you. Okay, let us create a numeric field over here first. I will drop select in between. And I will change the data type of age to integer and let's run the workflow now. See the age is having the null columns, a lot of null columns are there. And what we can do, we can create our data cleansing tool again in between this. Guys, the reason why I am I am uh, using the data cleansing tool twice in this is to demonstrate you that at first this column was a string column so it doesn't replaces the nulls with zero but once i have converted it to integer it will replace the nulls with zero so that's uh quite self-explanatory i will go to the next uh thing now leading and training white 
you can see in address in the first row we were having a lot of leading and trailing by uh, white spaces it has removed it. the next operation is the modify case we will modify the title we will run again and okay everything is now in the perfect case and have a look at one more thing. The true and false value are being converted to one and zero. And why it is so? Because this was of type string. It will by default remove this. If there is true or false, they were Boolean. Who means one and false means zero in string value. So it has converted it to one and zero. So that's all about these two tools.